So we have a bunch of details regarding the demand for the iPhone 14 series and also some camera tidbits and so let's delve into it. So the first two reports kind of contradict each other but anyways, Quo first tells us that demand in China for the iPhone 14 series is going to be higher than the 13 and he's basing this on the viewpoints from distributors, retailers and also surprisingly scalpers why does Quo have connections with scalpers? I'm not so sure to be honest. But either way, based on their data, they believe. The 14's gonna be pretty popular with Quo telling us the shipment forecast of component suppliers and EMS is about 100 million and 90 million units in the second half of this year alone. So yeah, that is gonna be massive demand. Now Quo does not tell us exactly why this is gonna be the case, but I'm assuming there's going to be two main reasons. Number one, the pros have big changes with the cameras and also more importantly the front with the dual hole punch layout that of course is radically different to the notch we've had for years. And so that design change alone could get consumers to upgrade to the 14 series. And actually I remember reading in China that phones very much represent your status in society so of course having the latest and greatest iPhone that of course you can actually flex and looks widely different to previous models is going to encourage consumers to upgrade. But also the second biggest reason for the increase in demand is due to the new regular Mac size. China has always been known to love their big phones and so having a big Max iPhone that of course comes under $1000 is going to be very popular. So yes, I'm sure this is another reason why China demand does seem to be higher for the 14. But now we have the report that contradicts this since Digitimes tells us we could see initial orders for the iPhone 14 series being cut by 10% despite the strong demand. Now Digitimes does say this could be a supply reason because TSMC who who makes Apple's chips have three major customers adjusting their orders due to the shortages and so as a result their semiconductor situation has worsened and they have to cut the initial orders for these iPhone 14 models. Now TSMC is optimistic things will improve over time but if this is true I can see why Apple's reusing chips with the regular iPhone 14s because I'm sure that's going to help produce these iPhones faster during the shortage. But anyways Quo does disagree with this he still believes that it's going to be 100 million units and 90 million units for the components and EMS for the iPhone 14 series and there's not been any major reduction. He also mentions that small increases or decreases with the shipments are very typical but double digit increases and decreases right before launching these new models is unlikely because Apple first of course analyzes the real world demand and feedback for these products before radically changing things. And Quo says that if there are any supply issues Apple's more likely to postpone the orders instead of cutting them which I guess makes sense since I'm sure that Apple would rather have a delayed release with a bunch of iPhones instead of an earlier release that's very limited. And yeah since Quo is the more reliable source I'm going to side with his report. Anyways, we have another report regarding the larger main sensor with the 14 Pros and apparently the size is going to be 1 by 1.28 inches. That's massive and is going to be very similar in size to the sensor in the Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV. So yes, this is going to be a massive improvement and the sensor itself is going to let in more light, giving us much better images. And also we could see 8K video with this new sensor that of course could give us incredible ProRes 8K video with these iPhones. Though I do hope to support that, Apple does give us a 2TB option. Anyways, regarding Apple's in-house modems, Core did tell us there was a failure with the development of these modems, but we have a Weibo source now telling us there was no failure but there's a delay with them. And to be honest, I'm not sure why people are reporting on this because the 15 was always supposed to get a Qualcomm modem, it's in the settlement. And so this delay in the production of the modem to Q4 2023 does make sense since we should see this with the iPhone 16 series, not the 15. But the Q4 production timeline could suggest this could come to an iPad or Mac first and that could make sense because modems in those products are way less important than the iPhone so they could iron out 
early issues with these modems. And by the way, the code name for this modem is Ibiza and it's based on a 3 nanometer process. Anyways, let's delve into some of your comments regarding the iPhone 14 series. So I'm not sure how to pronounce their name, but they say this might be a little unrelated, but they want to see the Pros come in a rose gold. Now this actually was rumored to come to the 13 Pros, and we were pretty confident, but then Apple surprised us with another blue variant. But hey, who knows, maybe Apple surprises us with the 14 series, and instead of the purple we've been hearing about, Apple does give us a rose gold. And yeah, rose gold has been a popular option in the past, and so I could see Apple resurrecting that for a future Pro model. And we have another comment from Nuno who says, Leaks being true, I think the 15 will be great, mainly because of the periscope, but the problem is, I have the 10 and I can't wait any longer. Now to be honest guys, I would not wait for the 15 based on the leaks, because early iPhone leaks can be very wrong. Now yes, I do hope we see the periscope zoom lens, but I also would not be surprised if that does not happen, because let's take the early iPhone 14 leaks for example, those were suggesting an iPhone 4 like design, no camera bump, a single hole punch on the front, but that was all completely wrong so I would not be surprised if that's the case again with the 15 series. And from the iPhone 10, the 14 Pros should be a massive upgrade. So yeah, I don't think you're going to miss out much by not getting the 15 Pros. Anyways, that's about it guys. But tell me in the comments below, do you think demand for the iPhone 14 series is going to be strong? Anyways, thank you for watching guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out above on details regarding the iPhone 14 series. And on that note, see ya peeps.